Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks has thought long and hard about this question, and they came up with a plan. In 2009, Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks developed the new web-based Crucial Areas Planning System called CAPS to identify crucial areas and corridors for a larger conservation effort that recognizes the importance of landscape scale management of fish and wildlife species and habitats. The strategy is focused on proactive management on several landscapes of habitat in the seven community habitat types. Initially identified were landscape scale habitat improvement projects, the Milk River System, Lower Yellowstone River System, Upper Big Hole River System, and the Sagebrush Initiative. The agency clearly saw that conservation measures must be applied across broad landscapes to accomplish the management goal of maintaining high quality hunting and fishing opportunities across the state. The view of Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks is, we can't manage the changing climate, but we can manage the agency response to the changing environment using crucial habitat, connective corridors, and other adaptive strategies across larger landscapes. The department focus is to protect and restore critical habitats so that landscapes and wildlife can, to the extent possible, withstand climate change or whatever other stresses they face in the future. The agency will focus on landscape initiatives like the sagebrush step system. These are the likely effects of climate change on big game, upland birds, and waterfowl in the sagebrush step area. Management of the sagebrush step system will require that we all work together with public and private landowners to address the issues on the ground. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks will also work cooperatively with private landowners to employ proven conservation programs funded by the 2008 Farm Bill and will place heavy emphasis on protecting and maintaining crucial habitat and migration corridors for numerous harvestable species as shown in the black circle on this graphic. The Yellowstone River System harbors a Yellowstone cutthroat trout fishery upstream from Billings, but is currently becoming a warmer and drier climate. In the past 50 years, these have been the factors threatening cutthroat trout in the Yellowstone River. The Yellowstone River System strategy would safeguard genetically pure Yellowstone cutthroat trout by protecting their strongholds in headwater tributaries, construction of temporary high elevation water storage to augment downstream flows in the summer, reestablishing stream connectivity to allow fish to disperse in mid elevation downstream reaches, removal of fish passage barriers and restoration of riparian areas, wet meadows, and wetlands in lower elevation downstream reaches, while maintaining the prime cold water fishing opportunities the river is justly famous for. We need to keep this country as game-rich as Lewis and Clark founded and as it is today. The Missouri Break Special Conservation Strategy is an outcome of the Montana Sportsman Value Mapping Project that will apply to over a million acres of public lands managed by BLM in six counties. This graphic shows the strategy boundary encompassing the largest concentration of high-value bread-and-butter hunting lands in Montana. 
as well as the largest contiguous block of highest value habitat for terrestrial species of concern in the Montana Comprehensive Conservation Strategy. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks also has moved ahead with monitoring and conservation plans in preparation for landscape scale habitat efforts in the northwest part of the state. This plan was completed in January 2010 to enhance species monitoring and inventory for species impacted by climate change in four habitat focus areas in northwestern Montana and calls for a higher level of coordination and partnerships with other agencies, tribes, non-government organizations, citizen scientists, and volunteers. The Northwest Plan will develop wildlife habitat management recommendations for land uses such as subdivisions and timber sales, and provide the public with accurate information relative to Northwestern species like these vulnerable to impacts from climate change. Most sportsmen pay homage to President Theodore Roosevelt because he had the courage and the foresight to push a strong conservation agenda to restore depleted fish and wildlife against a political tide, giving us the rich fish and wildlife heritage sportsmen cherish to this day. Roosevelt had the foresight to see beyond his time and recognize that Congress must act within a critical time frame to protect the future for us. He once said, Nine-tenths of wisdom consist of being wise in time. Well, for the sake of our children and grandchildren, it's time. While no one has all the answers to climate change, we all know we're dealing with a rapidly changing world. And we must step up to do the conservation work needed today to ensure the future not only for hunting and fishing, but for our very quality of life. At the end of this year's hunting season, Perhaps in our final campfire with our hunting partners, maybe we can agree on this. Action on climate is justified not because the science is certain, but precisely because it is not. Thank you.